Is it possible that out there in the infinite expanse of the universe, other civilizations exist? Societies that have transcended the bounds of their home planets to establish a collective consciousness? Today we delve into the philosophy and structure of a fascinating concept, the Confederation of Planets. The Confederation of Planets, as purported in the service of the Infinite Creator, is a collective of approximately 53 civilizations, comprising around 500 planetary consciousnesses. This collection also includes entities from Earth's inner planes and those who have graduated from Earth's third density. This confederation is built on a philosophy of service to others, rooted in an understanding of a unity that exists beyond polarity. It is a true confederation in its essence, as its members may be diverse in nature, but all are allied in service according to the law of one. In this structure, love, wisdom and power are mutually shared, each honouring the free will of the others and offering mutual support. A key prerequisite for inclusion in this organisation is a pure and total dedication to service to the one infinite creator. This confederation includes entities from various densities, including our own, within our planetary sphere, and even within the angelic realms. Those who develop a mind, body, spirit complex, and then a social memory complex, dedicating this social memory complex to the singular service to the one creator, may join the confederation. The Confederation arose from this singular desire to serve. In the fourth density, service becomes an overwhelming goal of the social memory complex. Those who would become members of the Confederation found themselves long ago seeking the same thing, service to others. As their awareness of other entities and ways of service expanded, their response was to share information, to share themselves, and to begin coordinating based on their commonly held goals of service to others. This led to the voluntary placement of their collective data, memories, understanding, and lived experience in a central repository accessible to all. This structure allowed each entity to work in its own service while drawing on any other understandings needed to enhance this service, leading to the formation of the Confederation. This represents an exquisite level of harmony, unity and shared purpose. Unlike the groups of the Orion Empire, which face constant disintegration due to the spiritual entropy inherent in piling power against power, the Confederation suffers no power loss and can act as one being. The Confederation's general cause of service arises from the primal distortion of the law of one, which is service. The one being of creation is akin to a body if we accept this third density analogy. Just as we would not ignore a pain in the leg, a bruise on the skin, or a festering cut, the Confederation does not ignore a call. The entities of sorrow within the Confederation choose as their service the attempt to heal the sorrow, which they equate to the pains of a physical body complex distortion. In conclusion, the Confederation of Planets represents a unique and harmonious collective, dedicated to service and united by shared understanding. It is a testament to the potential for unity and cooperation not just within our own planet, but across the vast expanse of the cosmos.